All right, guys, we got the barrel checked up and the uh, Pratt forejaw. Uh, I've got it indicated to about a half a thou. Uh, it's uh, supported by a center or a live center here. Uh, I'm not 100% sure yet if I'm gonna need to run a follow rest or if I'm gonna need to run a steady rest or anything like that. So we're gonna find out when we make a couple cuts. Um, the barrel is too long to be put on centers in my lathe right now the barrel is stuck about back here in the back here in the headstock and um, so this is how we have to run it at this point unfortunately I'd rather do it between centers making sure that it's concentric with the bore all the way through but this is what we got to work with so I have my turning tool here which is just uh, carbide we'll see how that turns out if it turns out not to work or look very nice or not a good surface finish I have uh, some AR Warner uh, high-speed steel inserts that we'll try, but uh, we're the uh, barrel diameter throughout this whole spot or the, throughout the length is point uh, or is 908 thousandths, and the rear sight block journal that we need to turn down to is 889 thousand well 887 thousandths, but we're adding two thousandths to it for a press fit and that'll get me to a point where I can kind of massage it in where we need it. So, so for right now we need to take off 19 thousandths. Oh, sorry, forgot my uh, safety safety glasses. Okay, so we need to take off 19 thousandths. I'm gonna start down here on this end. Let's see if we can, oh yeah, we got clearance. Okay, set up my feed right here so we can take off these first couple thousand, or take off the bulk at a fairly fast speed. All right, so let's see what happens here. We're going to go with 10 thousandths just to start us off. Got some oil here. Smoky. So that is a extremely rough finish, as I'm sure you can probably see. But uh, I, I am going really fast on my feed right here. Again, this is just to take the meat off, but I still think we can slow it down just a bit. I'm not in any rush. Get that in there. Okay.
So we'll go back to zero and we'll take five thousandths off. You know what? Let's go a little bit faster. Finish is a lot better, especially back here. Up here, it was not so much. So, but I mean, it's still acceptable. So, up here, it's yeah, not good or not too bad. It seems when it gets to this spot right in here, where there was a really there was kind of a deep gouge in there. Once it gets to that point, then it starts getting all wonky on me, but. It should still be fine for, for our use. Okay. So you can see our original measurement was uh, 908 thousandths. So let's just see where we're at right now. Says we're still at 908 thousandths up here. All right, you guys may have noticed that the uh, video cut out of me turning the barrel. Well, that's because I'm new, obviously, to filming when I'm working on stuff. And I didn't even realize that the camera cut out. Uh, the battery died on the GoPro that hangs over the lathe. So, and I just kept on working. I never, never even occurred to me. I should probably check to make sure that's still going. But anyway, I did finish turning the barrel. 
Uh, it's not going to be very exciting footage since it cut out, but as you can see, it's been profiled. Not very much. I'm trying to keep it as heavy as possible, but we have the uh, step here for the handguard retainer that we're going to be using, which when I initially showed in the video, or in the first video, using an M72 handguard retainer, I think it was, that's not going to work. It's um, too big of a diameter the handguard retainer was, so it just flopped around on the barrel. So I'm going to use an, the actual M76 handguard retainer, which this profile here is turned for. Um, so it really seems like I'm using mostly all M76 parts for this thing. But um, from there, it's uh, turned down here for the gas block fit. And then out to here, turned down quite a bit for the uh, M76 front sight block, which we still need to modify. So the barrel is done for the most part here, just needs to be refinished. Uh, obviously have all the parts pressed on it which I'm not going to show pressing the parts because there's a lot of videos out there showing how to press AK components and things like that so none of that's entirely interesting um, so next time you see this I'll probably be at the next stage which I'm thinking will be I'll have this press into the front trunnion drilled and pinned after I've head spaced it and then have the rear sight block pressed on and pinned in place to have that uh, distance set and then I'll start trying to fit the uh, SVD handguards to this and we'll start making the uh, custom front handguard retainer. So we'll look into seeing where we go from there and we'll get to it.